The words of our national anthem resonated throughout the Napa Auditorium today as the head of state and other dignitaries gathered to celebrate 62 years of Trinidad and Tobago's independence. 62 years ago at midnight on the 30th of August, the Union Jack was lowered and the flag of Trinidad and Tobago was raised for the first time. Through storm and sunshine, through calm and tempest, it has remained raised ever since, red, white, and black, flying high and proud, a symbol of a people joined together on a journey into a brighter future. Key to our identity, President Kanglu believes, is an inclination to greatness and an ability to overcome all obstacles. Doubtless, there were times over the last 62 years when others, when even we ourselves, if we are honest, must have wondered about our country's ability to stay afloat on seas that sometimes became rough. But if the last 62 years have taught the world anything, it is never to doubt the capacity of Trinidad and Tobago to rise above its challenges and to triumph over adversity. President Kangaloo lauded the men and women of this country for continuing to fly the flag high. Just when the world started wondering how come our athletes weren't among the medalists at the Paris Olympics, Jareem Richards silences the critics yesterday by winning bronze in the 400 meters in room. And just when unsteady hearts began to question Echoing the words that one of our Calypsonians sang 10 years ago, where pan reach, the steel pan is formally made our national instrument, less than a year after the General Assembly of the United Nations declares a world day in its honor. The President says on the occasion of our 62nd independence anniversary, we should all celebrate how far we have come as a nation and how much further we will go. Join me in raising a toast as we celebrate the independent state of Trinidad and Tobago. To Trinidad and Tobago. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News.